Express Field here on the campus of Jacksonville University is the Cape Canaveral of baseball fields in the state of Florida. Baseballs are launched out of here on the average of better than two per game, so it's no surprise that JU leads the nations in homers for a team. But Jacksonville University's play is indicative of all the college teams in the state of Florida this year. The University of Florida is a good bet to be the SEC champion for a third straight year, and Florida State is already over the 30-win plateau once again. But the team that is perennially strong in the state as well as in the nation is the Miami Hurricanes. The Hurricanes are the defending national champion, and they have Danny Smith, who was the MVP of the College World Series last year, on this year's team. And through 52 games this year, Smith's record is just so-so at 3-2 with five saves, but his ERA is a solid 1.85. Dave Eichhorn has been the Hurricanes stopper this year. He's at 8-2 with five saves, and with an earned run average of 0.73, he's been almost untouchable. And there is one youngster also, sophomore Rob Souza, who has a shaky ERA but a spectacular 8-1 record. But Miami is beatable, as Florida State showed just last week. The Knowles took three straight from their in-state rivals, and these two teams are rivals, as FSU coach Mike Martin explains. Miami and Florida State is the baseball game in the state of Florida. We played at Mark Light Stadium down there last year in front of 7,200 people, which is a, a record for the most to ever view a college baseball game in Florida. Uh, about nine years ago, Miami dedicated Mark Light Stadium, and their opponent was Florida State. This year, we're dedicating our stadium in 1983, and of course, the opponent is Miami. So I think it just goes to show you that when Miami and Florida State hook up, uh, we like to think it's a, a great baseball rivalry. And in the Miami Hurricanes hitting department, the infield is loaded. Shortstop Bill Rona leads the team at 330 with 65 hits, with first baseman Orlando Artiles and second baseman Mitch Sione both topping the 310 mark. But is this Miami team good enough to repeat as national champs? Well, maybe. It'll certainly be tough. About as tough as competing against the other baseball powers in Florida. I'm Barry Milligan reporting for In the Press Box.